Welcome back to the Angry Man Podcast with Jason and Greg. So, Jay, earlier today, you sent me a video of Errol Spence. Apparently, I don't know if he was shopping for pit bull puppies or what, but he was with a gentleman. Uh, they had one pit bull, one puppy, and Errol was out there with his shirt off, appeared to be on his farm. And um, Errol is, is, he's not, Errol, he's definitely not fat or anything like that, but Errol is definitely not in the shape that I would expect him to be in, considering I would, you know, this is just my personal opinion. This is how I work. I would have already been back in the lab really trying to sharpen those skills, considering that, you know, there were a number of they mistakes weren't. that I made uh, in that fight with Terrence Crawford. And uh, I wanted to get back in the gym as soon as possible to sharpen up on those skills to make sure that I was ready for them in the rematch, which apparently is going to be in February if it does actually materialize. And Errol does not appear to be someone who has been in the gym. He looks like he's just been kind of sitting back and relaxing. Now, again, I don't want to state that Errol looks fat because he doesn't. He may, He's probably like, I don't know, maybe like 170, 75, something like that, I, yeah. would, I would imagine. We saw Errol at 195, and, and that was right after the car crash, and he certainly did look chunky during that period. Now, Jay, when you look at him at that weight, I don't – I mean, it's going to be a challenge even getting back down to 154. 54 would be easier for Arrow, but, you know, Arrow is a big guy, man. And I'm actually thinking that yeah, in reality, is. he should be at 160 pounds and maybe thinking about somebody like the winner of Laura versus Danny Garcia would make a lot Garcia. more sense. Uh, just based off what I'm seeing right now, just 54 may be too much weight for him or too low of a weight for him. You know, we heard... Floyd Mayweather mentioned specifically that he wouldn't even have him at 54. He would move him up to 160. I'm starting to think Floyd Mayweather is 100% right after seeing this new physique of Errol Spence. Again, I'm not knocking Errol. I'm not saying that he looks out of shape. We've seen a lot of fighters that look like this uh, during the, uh, the interim periods before a fight. But my thing is, at this juncture, just considering the way that the performance or the way that the last fight went and his performance in the last fight, I would already be back in the lab. You don't have to look like you chiseled out of stone or anything like that at this moment. Yeah. But I would have expected Errol to be in better condition or at least look better because he would have been spending a lot of time in the gym really trying to hone those skills. Um, for me personally, and again, I'm still an Errol Spence fan. I want to preface my, my comments by saying that I'm still an Errol Spence fan, but this is disappointing to me because I feel that it points in the direction of probably a loss in a rematch. I always already was leaning towards Terrence Crawford just based off of everything that we saw in the original fight. Now seeing this and knowing that he's probably not in the gym, maybe I'm wrong, but it's just disappointing for me, Jay. What's your thoughts on it? It's very disappointing. I mean, it just good. It's, I mean, it's good just to see Spence. Cause, I mean, yeah. it's been a while since Spence has, has been seen in you know any light, whether it's on his own page or someone else's socials. So it's just good to see him. You know, but to your point, you know, just the type of person I am, if I took an L, especially L like that, I might not be chiseled like I'm, you know, I'm ready to get on the, get on the scale and fight the next day. But you're going to see like, man, he's been, he's been in a lab, you know, maybe he has been in a lab working more on technical stuff where you don't necessarily be in shape for that, you know, work on that muscle memory skill set, you know, but just me personally, I'd much rather him be looking a lot, a little bit better than what he looked. When we saw him there, so we we could say like, okay, it looks like he's been working because I know everyone can't be like Floyd and everyone can't be like Butt because one one thing about Butt, he's a gym rat. He's always in the gym whether he has a fight or he doesn't have a fight. He doesn't usually go up too much, you know, beyond his walk around, right? Whatever that may be. Um, but I'm glad to see Errol is not like 200. I don't think he's 200 one night. I think he's close to 170, 175 on that, you know, but. We'll see. I mean, I'm re I'm really eager to see him really come out on his socials, at least get back on that. You know, he was uh, wasn't a huge person on socials, but he did speak to, on 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 Twitter and whatnot when there were fights. He was on that or some major shows on there. He always talked about that. So I want to see him get back and just see where he's at, man. You know, because he might he can get in shape physically, but it's always up here. What's going to be the difference? You know, see where he's at mentally. So. It's just, like I said, it's just good seeing him in that video there, although he wasn't looking like he was ready to fight tomorrow or in a month. But, you know, he's not in that 190 range. He's not like – I put it to like this. He's not looking like A.B. looked. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, he doesn't look like what A.B. looked like. I would say that Terrence Crawford does put on considerable weight considering that after the Spence fight a few weeks, he was already talking about he was up to 170. So he puts on considerable weight as well. It's just that, you know, Terrence doesn't – when I see Crawford, he doesn't necessarily well, he carries like it. he has. You know, yeah, I guess it's the weight that he carries. Yeah. But, um, I, I, I'm just – like I said, man, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. I hear you when you say that maybe he's working on technical aspects of his game that doesn't necessarily require him to be a – Trying to go something out there for him. In, in my mind, I'm sorry. In my mind – you can't properly, you know, work out to some extent um, unless you're in the proper shape. Like, I mean, just just my opinion. Like, like a basketball play, player may be able to work on, I guess, his dribble game if he's not, uh, you know, in shape. But man, if you got, you know, a stomach around you, man, how are you bending properly to actually dribble the ball and stuff like that? I mean, I don't know, man. I I just you know, I hear with, you with boxing. I'm trying to give him a benefit of the doubt. You know, <laughs> should be doing some light work some skill work some stuff like that you would think that definitely that would help you to shed some of the weight and, you know, i would have loved to see arrow right now somewhere maybe in the ones and maybe he's it maybe he is in the 160s i don't know but i don't i don't think so i don't think so yeah uh, it's hard, hard to see with that angle in that video and that angle and the way he was just you know standing on in an odd way as well even when he bent down for the squat you know getting closer for the camera it's like yeah you know We'll, saw, I, don't, I don't know. We saw some information from a guy that posted a picture with Errol Spence. This was a few days ago, and we didn't do a video on it because we thought the guy was exaggerated just based off what we saw from Errol. But the guy said he thought Errol was every bit of like 190 pounds, and we completely dismissed it just because yeah. we've seen Errol at 190 pounds. Errol clearly was chunky in the face, chunky uh, around the midsection when he was at 195 pounds. I, that's just I don't believe Errol's at 195. I can believe he's at 170 or 175 though. And it's just, it's concerning, man, because it's, and it's not, I want people to really understand this. It's not because he's, you know, this is a, it would be a challenge for him to get to 154 necessarily, right? It's not that. It's more about the performance that we saw last time and the level of work that we believe is required in order for him to close the gap is the challenge, right? If, it, if he was coming off of a close yeah. decision, lost to Terrence Crawford, this would be a nothing burger to me, right? Uh, absolute nothing burger, because I believe he'll be able to get back in shape and, you know, close that gap. But because the, gla the gap was so great during the initial and first fight, that to me, he need as much time in the lab as he can get. This is no knock to Errol Spence. I'm still an Errol Spence guy. He's a stand-up guy, and I can appreciate everything he's done for the sport. I want to put that out there, but this is disappointing knowing that we saw an Errol Spence that did not necessarily compete at the highest level after round three. Mm -hmm. Not not intentionally not compete, he just didn't have the ability at that time for whatever reason, for whatever reason you believe. So um, I just, it's disappointing for me. Jay, anything else you want to share in regards to this before we move on to the next? Yeah, it's, it's definitely disappointing. I just... You know, with the stakes as high as they are for him and as much work as most of us think that he needs to do, you know, I think he would have been better just to see him in a little bit better shape, you know. I mean, granted, this is the first time we've seen him in a long time, you know, so we don't know anything that's going on behind the scenes, whether it's personal injury, anything like that. Um, but, yeah, we definitely could have been better to see him in a different different light. Keep your shirt on, EJ. <laughs> don't, give, don't give people enough food out there. You guys tell us what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to hate, like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Angry Man Podcast, AM Sports Media, and we are out.